going on everybody? Larry Brown here with another edition of the Rexius Nutrition Product Library and I'm here in the Nut Rexius Nutrition Warehouse with a special guest, the owner and proprietor of Baby Rhino Physiques, renowned coach in the Omaha area, Nick Langer, and he's going to talk to us about something that I'm seeing with a lot of our customer base. Usually the first question when people come in and they're looking for a product, the first thing they ask us, him, or anybody I'm looking for a good protein. What type of protein do I need? So today, he's gonna help me kind of demystify protein today. So, Nick, we're gonna start off with the basic proteins. We talked about it before, but there are four different types that we sell. Mm -hmm. Let's go into each one and what their function is. Perfect. So, first and foremost, uh, probably the most well-known protein that's out on the market would be just a straight concentrate protein. Uh, so one that we have here at Rexy's Nutrition is going to be Allway. Uh, that's going to be a concentrate protein. Big thing about a concentrate protein, it is a milk-based protein, much like a lot of the other ones. Um, so you will have some aspects as far as dairy and whatnot, which can mess with people's stomachs. So keep that in mind. If you have lactose issues, that, that will have an issue with that. But a concentrate is going to be a cheaper protein in the aspect that it's not as filtered. Uh, which also means realistically you're not getting as much protein out of the actual protein itself. Um, so from a concentrate standpoint, that's going to be good for somebody who wants to have kind of a budget saving protein, still get some good protein in their body, get some essential amino acids, um, something that you could supplement even throughout the day if you really wanted to, especially if you're on the go and you need something as maybe a snack, um, pairing it with like a good fat, like almonds or something like that, just to get some extra protein in your, in your body. Um, and again, budget friendly. So that's one of the main reasons why a lot of people go with the concentrate. And it usually is good for about, mm, what percentage of the population would say? I usually tell our customers that a concentrate based whey protein is pretty much what 99% of our clientele uses. Correct, yeah. I mean, majority of your people, if you're trying to just do basic things as far as overall health, um, wellness, or whatever it might be, a concentrate is gonna be best for you just because of the fact that that's gonna be a very basic protein. It's gonna get you what you need. It's gonna get you the amino acids, which most people are missing, and it's gonna give you that extra protein that most people miss throughout their day just because they don't wanna eat chicken or steak or whatever it might be. So. Understandable. So let's step up from concentrate. The next one up on the ladder is isolate, and a lot of people get confused about isolate. Tell us the need to knows and the things that we should consider before we step into the world of isolate proteins. Yeah, so an isolate protein is a much faster digesting protein. So it's gonna be much more filtered. There isn't gonna be as much of an issue with lactose. Majority of your isolate proteins are gonna be almost fat free, unless there's some fat that's been added. Like this one actually has a little bit of PB2 powder that's been added to it. So it's got a little bit of dietary fats in there. But most of your isolate proteins are gonna be good for people like myself who use it as a post-workout shake. They want something that's fast digesting, fast absorbing, something that's gonna help out with recovery. Um, and more than anything, again, this one's gonna be a kind of a higher price point. So per serving, you're gonna be spending a little bit more money, but you're also getting more uh, actual straight protein per scoop. So for a lot of our athletes, a lot of our bodybuilders, a lot of people that actually are intentionally using this as maybe a post-workout, that's gonna be best for them. Okay, now people that really have the post-workout and the throughout the day protein kind of down, what about the ones that don't have much of an appetite for anything? I know we talked about uh, protein blends before the video, but tell us the functionality of those in a real world setting. Yeah, so you know we've got a couple different options, but one of the main ones that I would say is we have Hexapro. Um, that one has six different types of protein in there. So it's got a fast digesting, it's got your concentrate, it's got an egg white protein in there, um, and it's also got a casein protein in there. So that's gonna be really good for our people that, let's say, you know, I've got, for example, I've got a 55 year old female that comes in my store and she wants to, um, she wants to lose weight, but she hates eating meals. We see this all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and the biggest issue that majority of females have, and it's just a, a relative thing that I've seen across the board, is their protein intake is way lower than it should be. Their fats and their carbs are much higher than they should be, their protein is very low. So we're gonna want something that they can get more protein out of, but that will also satiate them th throughout the day. So that's where a Hexapro protein comes in. It's gonna have that fast digesting protein in there, also a slower digesting protein in there. So that way if you wanna use it in conjunction with maybe um, 
almonds again or something like that as a healthy snack um, or even a meal you could do that um, especially for uh, an older person that might not, not might not need a ton of calories this is going to be a good replacement because it does have some dietary fats in there um, it's got a plethora of proteins in there and so it's gonna be a little bit better as far as a all, all around protein meal replacement mm -hmm. and there are some meal replacement proteins that we have as well that are gonna be a little bit more calorically dense and those are gonna come into play with maybe maybe we have an athlete that can't get enough food in and he needs to pound some more food mm -hmm. um, or maybe we have somebody that literally um, can't get enough food in throughout the day for whatever reason maybe it's work or whatnot what that's where something like maybe a mass gainer comes into play and a mass gainer will majority of the time be much like the hex pro where it's multiple different types of protein but then it's also going to have some carbohydrate quite a bit of carbohydrates in there um, and some dietary fat in there so that's where something that's going to be more of a blend comes into play is when we're talking about somebody that maybe can't get the meals in and need something to help out with that aspect now the last one that we're going to talk about is casein protein and it's common for people to have a protein shake before they go to bed. They may opt for the concentrate or the isolate, but you think they missed the boat on that. Explain why casein is probably the superior choice over the prior two. So casein is actually a cool kind of protein in the aspect that the way that casein protein works is it almost kind of acts like a, a glob in your stomach. So it takes a while to break it down. So it's a much longer release. So, in that aspect, casein is great for before bed. Uh, you know, you've got to think about it. If you're actually getting the recommended amount of sleep that you're supposed to get, which is eight hours, mm -hmm. that means you're fasting for eight hours. Mm -hmm. So especially for a lot of my people that are like, let's say they want to try to put on weight or they're trying to um, maintain as much lean muscle tissue as possible and they don't want to go with an option that's a whole food option like Greek yogurt or um, cottage cheese or something like that, we can use a casein protein to kind of make sure that their body's not digging into lean muscle tissue while we're sleeping throughout the night. Um, and again, it can also be used for weight loss customers too, um, in the aspect that it could be a option for them for a night meal instead of eating a night meal because it's a slower digesting protein. It's going to be slower uh, processing through their body, but still a good source of protein. Well, there you have it, folks. We just went through four different types of proteins, all serve a different function. And I had to get Nick because he could explain it much better than I could. I would just butcher it. But thank you, Mr. Langer, for job, jumping in today, helping us out, educating our client base and people that may be watching that may have never been into a Rexy's Nutrition store. We thank you for your time today. Of course. All right. For Nick Langer, I'm Larry Brown, and Rexy's Nutrition's product library is over for today. Tune in Thursday as we go over the chin-up for women and some of the alternatives you can use to build a nice wide back. We'll see you soon.